Hi everyone, how is everyone doing? I know I've been gone a very long time and that's because I've been working a lot, traveling back and forth, um, like I've been trying to sort myself out for renting, where I'm going to live for next year at uni and all that kind of stuff. So I've been very busy, that's hence why I didn't like really video much but i am back with a new a new look this is my go-to summer look literally it's my go-to summer look because i hardly put on any makeup so when i do travel or go somewhere and i feel like looking pretty this is the look that i'll do and the you can see the purple lips purple has been like my thing right now um and this shade is an mua shade one pound super drugs oh my god mua as cheap as it is their products is so good and this is just one swash or let's say two swash on my lips with this lipstick and um at the end of the video i'm going to show you different lipsticks that i used for this eye makeup look um i just try to keep things like light because obviously during the summer it can get really hot and you don't want to be sweating and all that kind of stuff so um I hope you guys like the look and if you like my videos please thumbs up if there's anything that you want to see from me you can suggest suggest it below I'll put all the items that I use all the products I use in the description bar below and um, yeah I hope you guys like the look and I will see you in my other video okay bye everyone so let's get started I've already done my eyebrows so we're going to go straight into the eye look um, I'm just priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Eden Primer Potion um, I really like this eye potion because when I use it my eyeshadow literally stays on all day it does not crease at all um, when you're putting when you're applying the eye primer just try and keep it as neat as you can so that it stays where you're actually going to put your eyeshadow so I'm just using the brush to just clean up where I don't want it to be um, I'm going to go into my crease with the sleek contour palette and I'm just using the medium the medium brown to just contour, contour my eyes basically and it's going to also act as a transitioning color for my eyes so just remember to just blend 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 and don't add too much just start light and then you can just build that up so I'm going into my crease with the buck from the Urban Decay palette um, I'm just trying to focus on the outer corner of my eyes with the back with the buck color sorry I can't even talk properly um, so then straight on from that I'm just going to use the limit shadow from the naked three palette from urban decay so those are the two main colors that i'm going to be using um so i'm just going to build that up bit by bit because you don't want to go too much and then you just have to you'll have to have that work of blending everything together so just going into it you just have to keep going into it building up the color and making sure that you blend it and my aim is to create a crease because i don't have a crease i have hooded eyes so i'm just trying to create a crease to suit my face and i'm using the tapping motion because i don't want the color to fade so i'm just building it on and just tapping it onto my eyes so that the color will show and like i said you just keep building building i'm just using the buck color from the urban decay naked to just build that up so next I'm just going to do my wing liner I'm using the um, the L'Oreal super liner perfect perfect slim I think it's called um, I've been using this for years and years and can you believe I actually have had this eyeliner for like two years and it's still going um, so I'm just using that to just create my wing line I, I don't want it too thick and I don't like it too thin either but it's just thicker at the end to create the cat eye kind of look so 
so I'm just going back into my eye crease and just making sure that it's showing and the cut the cat of the crease is still there kind of thing so and I'm basically just blending as well just going back in and blending um, I didn't need to put any lashes because I have individual lashes done so I'm just using mascara to just clean it up and make it stand out a bit more oh and I forgot I'm using the um, what am I using I'm using the day to night Remel um, mascara to just go onto the lashes and from there I'm using the real technique brush to just go onto my waterline and I'm adding the color Nuna from the naked three palettes as well just to create like a smoky effect with it so I'm just going to basically put on my foundation I'm using the Clinique foundation the Clinique fa Clinique Beyond and Perfecting foundation in the color 24 golden um it just put a light a light um a light coverage on there so that obviously i don't sweat and then sweat my makeup off so yeah and the key is to blend 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 you just have to blend into your skin um to just get that flawless kind of look so now i am going to highlight and contour i'm using the mac i'm using the mac pro longwear concealer in the color nw40 and i'm mixing that with the benefit um concealer as well i've mixed the two because i found that it works best best for me so i'm just highlighting and contouring underneath my eyes on my forehead on the chin, chin and obviously the nose as well to have that nice highlight I'm trying to create a bridge for myself because I have like the flattest nose in the world <laughs> so now I'm just setting my contour my highlight with um, banana powder the luxury powder so I'm just setting that and then just try not to have a heavy hand while you're while you're setting your highlighting underneath your eyes because you don't want it to go into the line and then crease up so i'm just highlighting everywhere with the banana powder and a very light very lightly as well you don't want it too heavy so now i'm going back into my sleek contour medium palette and i'm just using the golden color to just create a, a highlight as well and i also used the blush from mua i think it was the number three so now onto the lips um, the first lipstick, as you can see, it's the purple one and it's the MUA lipstick in Deprived. I absolutely love this lipstick and for the price, I am not complaining at all. One pound is a good bargain. Um, the second one is the Boardroom from Topshop. And to be honest with you, Topshop lipsticks are really, really good. They are as good as MAC, so if you can't spend a lot on that, you can get that too. Um, the next one is the Mink, also from Topshop. Um, I love this lipstick. It's got a matte feel to it, but you can make it a bit shiny by putting maybe a lip balm underneath and then putting this on. Um, like I said, Topshop lipsticks, you have to try them. Um, the last one is MAC, and this is the Velvet Teddy matte i absolutely love this lipstick as well to be it's almost as close as this other one the mink from top shop um so yeah that's the other lipstick that i use thanks for watching and i hope you guys come back for another video kisses 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 <laughs> bye